So today's video is gonna be all about what you should be wearing this summer. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about summer, and I guess you could say spring 2022 fashion trends. And we're not just gonna be talking about it, I'm gonna be sharing with you outfits, basically how I incorporate these trends into my existing wardrobe. So you can too. My name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and a lifestyle. So if you love lookbooks, styling videos, trend talk videos just like this, sis, you found your tribe. Keep on watching. Now trends <laughs> are like opinions, okay? There's so many of them if I only had a quarter for every single trend that comes out. And these days trends come out so, so fast. So before we get into this video, it should go without saying that you should not scrap your old closet and buy a whole closet full of clothes. That's just unsustainable. What I like to do when it comes to trends and what I encourage people to do is to just, you know, be aware of what's current and incorporate what works with your personal style. And that is the key to it, incorporating what works with your personal style. That way, even when the item or product is no longer trending, you'll actually want to wear it. The worst thing you can have is a closet filled with with, you know, statement, trendy or overly trendy pieces, you never want to be wearing trends from head to toe, right? Your outfit becomes dated super quickly and then you feel this need, this pressure to be moving on to the next. But with all that being said, I do think it is important to know what's trending and to incorporate pieces from time to time. It helps to refresh what you already have and it adds a freshness to your look. So the first trend I want us to talk about is going to be the cutout trend. Now I'm starting off with this trend because I feel like it is the most versatile of trends. I know you're like, what? Cutouts versatile? I promise you it is the most versatile of trends because no matter what your age group, I feel like you can incorporate a version of this trend. And what I love about cutouts is that you can use this style to accentuate or highlight the parts of your body that you love. So if you love your waist, you got a small, cute little waist. Speaking of waist, I shared a video on how to make your waist appear smaller. If you haven't seen that, you should check that out. But if you love your waist and you want to draw attention to it, you want to highlight it, if you even want to make it look smaller, then pieces with cutouts around the waist are going to be your best bet. If you love your decolletage, your collarbone, I love to highlight my collarbone because I have slender shoulders and so I like to draw the eye upwards. I love myself a nice cut out top. Now this top right here is kind of like a springy early summer type top. This top is actually from the Amazon The Drop collection that Marche Robinson did. I am a fan. I have been following her since like early, since like 2010s. I was gonna say early 2000s but no like since like the 2010s and so when I saw that she did a collaboration I had to support a fellow black girl. Anyway this color is perfect for the season. It's mint. It's perfect for spring. I decided to go for a head to toe but when things start to warm up I would definitely pair this bodysuit with some shorts as well. It's great for dinner, some fun sandals, a cute purse and you gotta look. So <laughs> let me know what you think about the cutout trend. Again cutouts can happen anywhere so are you for it? Are you against it? Now that you see like a more subtle way to do the cutout trend will you be trying it? Let me know in the comments down below. So if you want to see how these trends came to be on the runway and want a full list of the top trends for spring and summer 2022, make sure to visit the blog. Also let me know in the comments down below if there are any trends on your list that you would like for me to style. So the next trend that we are seeing everywhere is going to be the oversized blazer 
trend. This trend, I feel like, I almost don't even wanna call it a trend because it's not something new, but I think it's one of those trends that is finally like, you know, at the top of the pyramid this season. I'm seeing oversized blazers everywhere. Obviously, as we're going from transitioning from spring into summer, you want to start thinking and looking for oversized blazers and more summer appropriate fabrics like linen. I thrifted this linen blazer a couple of years ago and I've talked about, you know, oversized blazers. I honestly love, and I've talked about oversized blazers over the years. Now, what I like about an oversized blazer is that it adds a little bit of masculinity to your look. If you know me, you know one of my biggest tips and one of the style rules I live by is juxtaposition. And that is pairing things that are in opposition to each other, right? So you're rocking an oversized blazer and then you're opting for something a little bit more girly or something a little bit more bright. Something that's just atypical, you know, to be paired with an oversized blazer. Now, that actually leads me to the next trend, which is oversized blazers and teeny tiny tops or bra tops, okay? We've talked about this before. I mentioned this trend. I know it was like a hit or a miss. It's been brewing in the waters, okay? And it's still brewing. It's still having a moment. And since oversized blazers are really making a statement right now, when you pair that with the teeny teeny top, that is the perfect example of juxtaposition. You're pairing something oversized with something tiny, something girly, something frilly, sometimes something edgy, and you have that, you know, a little bit of interest into your look, right? This can be a tricky trend for my curvy girls because they typically don't make these teeny tiny hats you know, for girls like us, but you could totally repurpose a swimsuit top, or I have this other blazer that I picked up from H&M last year. It has like blue baby blue, some gray, some cream, and I paired it with a little square nut top that I also picked up from H&M. Now the key, in my opinion, for pulling off this look, if you're a curvy girl, unless you've got a six pack, is going to be high-waisted bottoms. You want your bottoms to be high-waisted, so you're just showing a teensy bit of skin, just a teensy bit of skin like unless you're going for having your muffin top or your saddlebags or any of those things or your mommy pooch or fupa unless you're going for putting that on display I would definitely go for a high-waisted bottom with this look and once you do you got it. I love these new high-waisted bottoms that I picked up from Banana Republic because they're high-waisted. I'm gonna link them down below for you guys, okay? Them suckers are high-waisted, all right? And I got it in a size 20. So someone made a comment about not liking high-waisted pieces because they tend to draw attention to the size of their breasts. And honestly, my best tip for that would be one, to make sure that you're wearing a really supported bra that will really pull your breasts to the appropriate location on your body. And then two, to make sure you're wearing a bra that has no padding at all, so it's almost like a minimizer, right? So once your boobs are in the right position, then you can play around with how high-waisted your pants can be. Now, you may not be able to get away with a really high rise. You may need to do like a mid-rise if you have a really short torso, but I'm sure if you incorporate those three tips, it'll help you find that point and I always say it like you know the, everybody's body is different and there is no shortcut you're gonna have to try things out play around with things you know kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prints before you find that perfect fit for you and when you find it make note okay make note so yeah, let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about the oversized blazer trend and then the micro trend of pairing oversized blazers with teeny tiny tops. Are you for it? Are you against it? Will you be wearing this this summer? Or is it a hard pass for you? So I say it every season, but one of the easiest ways to incorporate trends into your wardrobe is to play up the season's color. Now, color on its own is a trend for this spring and summer season. Playing around with bold, saturated colors, your purples, your oranges, your greens are all having a moment. So if you don't wanna specifically lean into one trend, maybe you don't like oversized blazers because they make you feel very boxy, or maybe you're not about to have your bras out and for the sake of fashion, you can have fun with color. And some of the colors that I'm seeing a lot of right now
right now are colors that look gorgeous on dark skin, colors like orange. Orange is definitely having a moment, really saturated orange hues, playing up different shades of orange can be a way to inject some freshness into your wardrobe. Another color that I'm seeing a lot of is like this limeade color and then Kelly green as well. So you could play up those two colors as well. You could pair up your Kelly green with your limeade and make a whole entire fit. Or, and if you're someone who likes neutrals and you're like, oh my God, that's way too much color for me. You don't have to incorporate it in your main look. You can incorporate it with your accessories, right? If you're more of a fair complexion, you could do a bold orange lip. You could incorporate it with your nail color. You can incorporate it with your footwear in your bag. So you may not necessarily need to buy a whole outfit, but buying one or two more current accessories will help to, you know, add some freshness to what you already have and bring some of the current trends into your wardrobe. So what did I mention? Orange, Kelly green. I feel like there's another color. What did I miss? What color am I missing? Orange, red. Oh yeah, bubblegum pink is another color we're seeing a lot of as well. I personally love all these colors. I'm always on the hunt for these colors. I recently picked up this gorgeous two-piece set from Nasty Gal. I will link it for you guys down below and I'll do my best to also link pieces that fall in any and all these categories because I do know, like I said, sometimes it can be really hard to incorporate these fresh pieces into your wardrobe because as we know, plus size size curvy fashion moves really slow. So there's always usually like one or two places that you can find these pieces in your size, but I got you sis. I'm gonna link some options for you down below. So if you don't wanna do anything else, definitely add some color this spring and summer. If you're enjoying this video and you've learned something so far, you got an outfit idea you like, hit that like button. Also, this is a great time for you to hit that share button as well. You may not know it, but you may know somebody that wanna see this video, okay? Someone who is struggling with their style currently, someone who feels like, you know, they can't try trends because of their size or their age, all eyes, by the way. So do your girl a solid, hit that like button, share, it pays it forward, for this community and I really appreciate it. So let's move on to the next trend which is going to be sparkle and shine. Okay, I typically see a lot more sparkle and shine in the fall and winter, but this season we are bringing it into the spring and summer as well. So if you are someone who loves maximalism, who loves maximal style of dressing, who loves to make a statement, who loves sequin, shine, embellishment, etc, etc, then sis, this is your season. Okay, my mama loves her some sparkle and shine. I like sparkle and shine too, in moderation, but she she loves her some sparkle and shine, which is very, very, very reminiscent of the Nigerian mother that she is. If you know anything about Nigerian culture, you know that we love to sparkle and shine. We love to make a statement. So sparkle and shine is definitely having a moment this season and we're seeing it in unexpected ways. So typically when I think of sparkle and shine, I see people incorporating it clothing pieces, right? And even sometimes footwear, but bags. Specifically, we're seeing these heavily embellished bags, bags with sequins, bags with rhinestones, just bags in gold metallic leather. We're seeing a lot of that, you know? Bags made out of embellished beading, you know, encrusted rhinestones. We're seeing a lot of that. We're also seeing fun footwear. I feel like the 70s are definitely having a little bit of an impact this season in footwear because we're seeing a lot of crazy sky high platforms. But here's the thing about platforms. They're actually comfortable. Who'd have thought it? You know, I just picked up these gorgeous gold platforms from ASOS. And what I love about them is that they have the little knot in the middle, which actually helps to make your foot look a little bit more a little less wide because I have wide feet and I normally get like an 11 wide at ASOS but they had sold out of it in 11 wide so I just sized up in the regular size and it fit. Now I always get questions about like my feet size 11 feet where do you find cute shoes and one of the places that has really well I would say one of the places that does good wide footwear they go up to a 12 I believe is ASOS. They go 
to a 12 wide. And what I like about their wide shoes is that it doesn't look any different from their regular shoes. When they make a style in wide and when they make it in regular, it's literally the same exact shoe, only that it has a little bit more space. And that has always been my issue with plus brands that make shoes in wide. Like, it's just like weird looking, it's ugly, but not with ASOS. So I just wanted to give that tidbit, right? So for me, you know, I'm still on the hunt for the sequin bag or the sequin accessories, but gold metallic footwear is super easy for me. I don't know if I'm really going to invest in gold or metallic clothing, because again, like I said, I'm more on the subdued side when it comes to embellishments and things like that. And honestly, I tend to stay away from things that are encrusted, embellished, etc., etc., because unless you're spending a lot of money on it, or unless you're spending good money on it, the quality is typically subpar, which means in like six months, one of the crystals gonna be falling off, the sequence gonna fall off, and then it's useless to you, right? But with footwear, I think I can definitely, especially when it's like gold plated or painted on, I know that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. I know that it's going to last for me, okay? So that's what I mean about incorporating trends into your existing closet and based on your existing personal style. If you're not somebody who loves sparkle and shine and who's very maximalist, then you can incorporate it with your accessories. You could do some gold nails, for example, if you want. That's even a little too much for me, but you can do a gold accent nail. Um, you know, you can layer more jewelry, you know, change out the strap on the bag and put like a gold chain or a gold strap on on the bag and so this way you're incorporating some of the trend but it's not like taking over your personal style so let me know in the comments below what trends you're super excited to wear this spring and summer and I would love for you to rank these trends from the trend that you are most likely to try this summer and to the trend that you're least likely to try this summer let me know <laughs> in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video I'm sure you enjoy this video and I'm sure you would like this video as well. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.